I got a weird feeling like there's something there. If we're going to go way back, I uh, had an experience when I was a, a child, basically. I was playing Battleship with my friend John, and uh, I remember looking behind him, and we're, in, of course, in the basement uh, of my house, and I'm looking in into this cubby hole that we, already we were kind of afraid of, but I'm telling you, I still remember that the face, it looked like a screaming face, and it was multicolored. It was just kept, like, changing colors. And I'm looking at this thing, and I just tap him, and he, I point, because I couldn't speak, and he looks back, he looks at me and we both get up and we dart out of there. Now what's interesting is that he didn't see what I saw. He saw what he says was a skeleton hanging off of the ceiling. I remember the first time I investigated, like a real investigation, what we considered a real investigation is when we brought you guys in and when I first met you guys. A lot of things happened there. We were getting strange smells, we were getting, you know, some sounds. We weren't even ready to, to film yet and we're all in that, uh, on the first floor in the living room, the crew, everybody, and we all started hearing furniture moving around above us and footsteps. We didn't even start yet. And all of a sudden, we were hearing crazy mo uh, furniture moving around. That was a claim. So that was pretty exciting. I personally like to use a technique called uh, real-time analysis, and that's using a recorder with headphones. So you're listening in real time. We've gotten so many results from it that I, I have to use it almost every case. If I don't, it's like I might be missing out. We might be missing out on great activity. Did somebody just say, like... Did you, like, shh, like, like, blah, blah, blah. like Yeah, I just heard that. You did hear that? Okay. What the f is that music? Where's it coming from? That sounds like old-timey yes, music, it does. dude. Thomas Reed, are you here? I can tell you what I'm saying. Really? What? It sounds like it's saying, please go. <gasps> Listen. Uh. I think I just heard some like humming. I'm getting chills. My advice for investigation is do some research before you go to the place. There's so much misinformation out there uh, you, you'd be very surprised. And just even just doing the research can help the client, help the person uh, that you're trying to help. And also bring a flashlight, for God's sake, because you'll trip if you don't bring a flashlight. A lot of people go in and it's dark, you're gonna fall. A flashlight and an extra pair of shorts. I like that, yeah. <laughs> just in case. Me personally, yeah. Just in case you get scared. <laughs> really, did you say that? Yeah. You were, oh my God. <laughs> Dave is a little brother to me. He's great with watching that sleight of hand that sometimes people will do. I mean, he's saved us on more investigations than I can even talk about. Just catching that little thing that if somebody fakes something or somebody's trying to get, get something by you, he's right on it. He's such an awesome investigator. Thank you, Jay. You know, besides being my you know, best friend in the world, uh, genius, honestly. He looks at things much differently. Anytime I have a question mark about what is, what isn't, what could be, he figures it out, he knows it. You definitely look at things in a way that none of us do. Mm. Your brain just sees things differently. And I tell people when you're not around that you are a genius. Mm. Like, I don't necessarily mean genius in the terms of, you know, you're figuring out com complicated math and nope. things like that. But nope. uh, just your thoughts, the way your brain works, it's, a, it's, it's on a, a different level. We got some brand new gin. Would you like to be the first to taste it? Try it out? Here it comes. you started pouring it, it started happening. It almost sounded like something pouring. Could it be re residual bar sounds? Call it a trigger object for a reason, Yeah. right? We're gonna put these right here for you. If you want to grab one of these glasses, it'll let us know that you're trying to do so. Would you like to have a drink? Last call. 
We investigate a lot together. We, do. we work off with each other mm -hmm. really well, questions for questions and a different thinking. Mm -hmm. and, and like Jay said, you're like looking for like what else could it be because right. That can't happen, you know. Right. And when we investigate, so we keep building for, on yeah. things, which I like. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Picking something up. It's getting more and more blue. Maybe something's trying to manifest. Oh my God, Mr. Gerber, are you here? We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to make you leave. This is your place. You can stay for as long as you want. Is it coming from this way? Voices, there are voices. Hello? Mr. Gerber? Was that you? Yeah, I love investigating with you. Thanks, same here. Yeah. Thanks, Sharon. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. Shucks.